It's good, yo. Oh, guys, Black Clover. Black Clover. Sorry. Um, this is very, very interesting. Not only did we go from watching the captain's fight, now we're watching the vice captain's fight. What is it going to be next? The training of the lower people who aren't vice captains? Sorry. I looked at the previews and I know that's going to happen, so in your face. Um, this week's episode really deals with what it feels like to just feel out of the, out of the picture, feel out of the loop. Um, it doesn't really help that, for instance, the Golden Dawn Vice Captain, <sighs> it does not help that he's been in a really bad mindset for quite some time. Uh, and we've never seen him really recover from it, right? Like, we never watched him actually be like, oh, yes, I am okay with losing not only that battle versus, you know, a bunch of people that were just lower class to him, but then on top of that being taken over by the elf and really cut and loose, he clearly has some recollection of it because you can't be like, what is this power? This is the residual from that elf, you know, without really knowing what had happened at the times when it was used so it pretty much confirms uh, on another level that most of the characters should have some access if not uh, uh, a lot of new mana power to be able to just throw at people the thing i'm really interested in is if you know actually had someone go inside of him uh because I'm pretty sure he did for a little bit. And then he like took back over. So I wonder if that person taught Yuno anything, right? Like, if Yuno did have someone in him, did he get taught anything by said elf? Um, and if not, whatever, whatevs. But he kind of always has an elf slash pixie with him at all times. So I guess... If anything, he's been taught by the elves more than anybody, or at least the spirits more than anybody. So, very, very interesting stuff, because now everything we're seeing from here on out could wind up being the growth and uh, absolute nasty power of the Black Bull, and everybody else who's going to train with these people who have clearly uh, some higher tier of magic probably than our characters uh, which begs the question of how well would they fare against this whole heart nation if it was just um, if it was their two nations going against each other uh, they obviously know about Yami and they stated that Yami has level on par with the guy that pretty much was slapping everybody around on our team so i'm very very interested to see how they're going to let that all play out at the end of the day because not only is there a new way of kind of ranking your magic um there's more ways of them understanding uh new ways to then surpass it right because if Yami has gotten to a point where he has a new type of magic that's as strong as it is, the only thing he can do is get a little bit stronger by breaking his limits, right? So, it seems like a never-ending cycle of reach a new height, break that height, reach a new height, break that height. So, definitely, definitely interested in seeing if that is going to be the case with Yami already being as strong as he is and being stated to be that strong. Um, where is that going to truly lead him at the end of the day? Because we really, really have little to no information about uh, why it is these tiers have not been reached by more of the captains. Or maybe they just don't know if the captains have the abilities. I don't know. I feel like the queen over there could just sense magic and... Of course, she wouldn't think Julius has it uh, with his uh, new form, you know, and how much he's already spent. 
So there's probably no way to actually quantify how strong Julius is actually going to get. Is he going to stop right back at where he was potentially? Is this always his form? Is this the way that they nerf Julius so he's not a viable character to just save the day and be um, like, oh, everybody lost, and then Julius showed up. <laughs> like, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Black Clover is definitely getting to a point where it's about to either pop off or we're going to get a lot of training and... Sure, that does sound bad, but when it comes down to the characters in this show, I love seeing what their abilities actually become because usually it's some clever uh, spinoff to something they they either tried and it worked and they didn't understand what it was and then they perfect it, or or they just get really strong and get new abilities altogether. They get new ways to express their strongest attacks even if it costs way more mana it might leave them vulnerable <clears throat> a lot of the skills come with backlash so always if you want to write stories and stuff make sure this backlash is to their powers because it definitely makes it uh kind of boring if you could just spam the same thing with no repercussions or anything like that so i look forward to seeing what they drop in the next episodes I will definitely talk to you guys sooner than later. Wednesday's like three animes. Today's like two. So hope you guys enjoy. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.